I believe many of us will have or have enemies. And if you don't, I believe you are blessed. How many of us, so if you have enemies or in enemy, how many of us pray for them? How many of us pray good things for them? Or do you wish bad things for your enemies? Like, I hope my enemy dies. I hope my enemy lose all of their money. I hope my enemy jumps off a bridge. Listen now, how many of us pray good things for our enemies? How many of us? And you may say to me, Kevin, how in the world can I pray something good for someone that does or have done me wrong. Listen now. Have you heard of you reap whatever you sow? Like, for instance, what you do will come back to you in some type of way. And I believe that is so true. So let me ask you this. If you are wishing death or something bad on your enemy, isn't that going to come back to you in some type of form? If if I wish my enemy to die right now, what if I contemplate death on that person day in and day out? Man, what am I going to reap off of that? Anything good? Will God say to me, Kevin, Hey, since you are wishing death on a person, I am going to bless you so much. What? That is wrong. Bless your enemies. Pray good things for your enemies. Yes, that person is doing me wrong, but God... Bless that man or woman with a car, a, a new home, plenty of food, money, a new job, so on and so on. Listen now. If you pray good things for a person and think positively about that person and want that person to do well, won't you reap off of that? <laughs> I believe so. So how is it beneficial to wish harm on a person? I don't think it is beneficial. So let's pray for our enemies. Yes, you may be sad. You may be depressed or whatever else because how someone treated you. Man, listen now. Bless, pray good things for your enemies now. Let me stop here. God bless you.